Look at your boy, Raw Dog Charles. I mean, he happy as hell. Your boy Charles about to go on tour, and look at him. He having a good old time out the club, and he kicking it. Look at him. I mean, this is what we about to see in season four. This is your boy, Charles Flannery, season four. He ready. He ain't playing around. He about to get it in on the road, hitting the city, and probably hitting somebody's girl's cheeks. <sighs> he ain't playing, y'all. And just when you thought you saw it all, we got the real Lucille at the club, the strip club. Cheeks everywhere having a good old time. Nicole, she there throwing money. I mean, it's crazy, y'all. It is crazy. Season four on the way. Stay tuned. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love BMF, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video, and leave your theories comments everything down below now today we're gonna be talking about bill meth season four this is the early predictions for season four so down below i want you guys to let me know exactly what you think is going to happen in this next upcoming season we already know that bill meth was renewed for season four and now it is time to make those predictions and i want to know will it even be a season five because from the looks of it i mean it kind of jumped to like what 96 in season three so Y'all let me know what y'all think. Do y'all believe it's going to be like a big time jump and we will see that in season four? Or do y'all think we're going to get a season five after four? I mean, it is what it is. We know stars, they're trying to save money. But at the end of the day, as I told you guys, they do what they want to do. So I'm pretty sure they will let us know eventually. Now, you guys, to make sure you checked out the BMF season three, episode 10 recap the season finale it set up a whole lot of different storylines that's about to pop off in season four. And we're going to talk about those in this video. So let's begin. What can we expect? What are some early predictions for season four? I think we will get the aftermath of Meech and Terry being in Mexico. We know on the real story that your boy Meech, he was in Mexico a lot. So I want to know how true to the story. They're going to keep it with Meech and Terry being down there and have to, you know, look out for Loco. Now, I believe once they handle business in Mexico, we're going to see a time jump. Now, this is just my early prediction. I would not be surprised if we see, you know, a time jump, maybe the late 90s, early 2000s. And to be honest with you guys, I believe we're going to see the whole California storyline come into play. We know eventually, Terry, he will be the one that's going to move out there. We know Meech, he was setting up shop everywhere, making all types of connections. And I believe the brothers decided that would be the best move for Terry. That way he can handle operations out there. This is why I would not be surprised if we see the beginning of the whole LA storyline. To me, it makes a lot of sense, especially seeing how that's where the story is looking like it's going to go. We know Detective Veronica Jen, she did mention that she's going to be heading out west to LA, right? It's some drug stuff going on down there with the Asian gang. So we're going to see how that storyline develops. And if we see more of Detective Veronica Jen, we know that your boy Detective Bryant, he said that he is heading down south, which means most likely he's going to head to Atlanta. He's going to try his best to follow Meech and see what type of leads that he can end up getting. Now, we know that your boy Hoop, he ended up surviving. So I am expecting to see him in season four and see him once again do business with Terry, which is good because you want to keep the loyal people around you. Now, early predictions for your girl, Lucille. Man, I know she's pissed off about the whole doctor thing. We will talk about more of these storylines in more detail, but we know Lucille, she was trying to get her groove back in season three. The whole Dr. Maurice thing, it backfired in her face. So I think she's going to be focused on the whole assistant pastor position that she ended up getting at the end of season three, along with continuing to raise Nicole and keep her out of trouble. Now, let's talk about your boy, Raw Dog Charles. Y'all saw him at the, the beginning of the video. He was turning up, right? And we know he about to turn up on this tour. He can't wait. And we know Lucille, she was kind of sad when Charles was leaving. But it is what it is. We're about to see Charles Flannery get more involved within the business. And that's the storyline that I think we all have been waiting for. To be honest with you guys, I've been waiting for like the early 2000s storyline. And as I told you, I really believe that's what we're going to end up seeing in season four. Now, I also believe you want to see more of the club scenes, of course, more of the music involvement. And I believe this is the season that we may end up seeing the BMF, the world is yours sign. We know that was a very popular sign 
in seeing how the story could be in the early 2000s, don't be surprised if you end up seeing it. We also know in the early 2000s that, you know, BOMF was more involved with the music thing. The legitimate business started to pick up. I would not be surprised if we see more celebrities pop up in season four. You thought we saw a lot of celebrities in season three. Don't be surprised if you see all types of different people showing up this next upcoming season just based off the real story alone. And then we know being flashy, that's probably going to be stepped up a whole lot in season four as well. So it's going to be a very interesting thing to see, especially knowing how the real story went. As I told you guys earlier, I want to know just how much of the real story they're going to put into the next upcoming season. And we also know it's most likely going to be a new threat. In season three, we saw Henrietta. She got dropped off. Her father, Blaze, he got dropped off. And when Henrietta cut her hair, I was like, okay, this is the new beginning. She's about to go to the next level. She's probably going to take out her pops. Well, she did take out her pops, but she also got taken out her damn self. So once again, she was added to the list of characters that get built up in one season and get dropped off as well. We also saw the end of Remy's character, aka Booker T. He got dropped off, right? And of course, Glock, he got shot and allegedly he's gone as well. So I am expecting some new type of threat because we know in each and every season, it got to be somebody. It has to be somebody that they're going up against, but we know law enforcement they're definitely about to step up their presence and they're not going to be playing around, right? And one last thing, what we do know is this. They keep hinting at it, the brothers going back and forth with each other. We saw, you know, a little bit of it in season three because we saw Meech in Atlanta. We saw Terry in Detroit. We saw how both brothers handle business by themselves. In season four, I think we're going to see a major clash between the brothers. And we know that that is based off real life events. So that's going to be interesting to see, especially with the wiretapping and all that. And we know Meech was real flashy. The brothers did not agree on certain things. So we know it was a lot of tension between those two. But we also know eventually they end up getting caught, which at the end of the day, Meech, he had the opportunity to really escape from what I was seeing. He could have, you know, had protection down in Mexico, but he said, you know what? I'm not running. You know what I'm saying? And we know he ended up getting caught. But man, the story was crazy, right? Luckily, the two brothers was able to make it out of all of this alive. We know a lot of things happened. A lot of bodies got dropped off. A lot of tension. A lot of beef, right? And that's just one of the reasons why I believe season four will be crazy. Now, my favorite episode out of season three had to be episode five, um, the Battle of Techwood. That episode was crazy, y'all. The Battle of Techwood was crazy. Bodies was getting dropped off. It was great storytelling and it's definitely my favorite. So hopefully we get more episodes like that in the future. But season three, it was a very interesting season. It was a little bit of an adjustment, you know, not seeing Lamar's character, not seeing B. Mickey's character. I mean, we was used to seeing those guys, right? For two straight seasons. So seeing a lot of these new characters, at first I was like, man, I got to remember all these new characters' name. And at first, like I told you guys, it was kind of tough. But as the season continued to air out, they became normal and the story became a little bit more easier to know. Now, I can't wait to see what's going to happen next with the whole Jay Pusha character and the St. Louis storyline. Of course, we know Meet, she was down there doing business. And I believe in season four, we're going to see more of Meech doing business in new states and cities, right? That was his whole game plan to take over the entire nation and to take care of his family, right? So we will continue to see that play out in season four. But I want you guys leave your early predictions for season four. Let me know what was your favorite episode out of season three. And are you ready for what's to come in the future? Now, we will continue to talk about BMF season three this week. It is some more storylines that I want to talk about just to, you know, give my final thoughts on certain ones. But I want to thank you guys once again for all the love, all the support, and I will catch y'all on the next one. But let me get up on out of here, man. It's your boy Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.